support, but it looks like it is Maronabit now. All right, yeah, Maronabit's nice because you know, roaming Earth Spirit, you need to find someone who could avoid the trouble of early harassment a bit, I suppose. She fits that bill nicely, and we get to have a classic pickup here in the Puppy Enchantress. SD, SD Enchantress to move as well. It's nice roaming supports. Yeah, and they have, aside from the Drow, the Maron and Tide are pretty. But he is already uh, level 7 now. Looks like they maybe want to kill off that boar and then go for the disrupt into arrow combo. Arrow coming through. It's a nice connection there. Good surround by Pylite Eye. Swindles going to have a very tough time making it out here with the leap coming through. Swindles will be brought down. So first blood to secret. Not saving a skill point. She's not topped off though. And they have full vision of her because they did a reserve reward. And this so. is a matchup that can snowball. You die once or twice. The tiny gets the move speed advantage. And down you go. Avalanche. Toss. Will he need the Earth Spirit assist? He will. Boulder Smash coming through. That's a nice connection. Good disruption there by Pylite Die. Will NBB be able to make it out? Jukes through the trees. One more swing. Will bring him down. But Z Freak also low in turn as Limp. Pasted. We'll try to run away. But Puppy's there to cut him off. They keep on looking for poison spam. But Pylite Eye doesn't have the stacks required. It looks like Limp will make it out. Z Freak to deny himself to the neutrals. A nice clean take there in the mid lane, forcing two support rotations, and they get the kill. It would have at least been a lot closer in terms of the death, but not a big deal. It's very good if you want to keep harassing the tiny. Well, Swindles, he's becoming the punching bag here for Secret. At least that's the goal as they move in onto the Beastmaster. Leap forward from Arteezy. Has the arrow ready. Let's it fly. It will connect the level 3 Starfall as well. Tough to juke there at that point as he was pretty far committed to the tree line, but unable to dodge the arrow, will go down. Yeah, if he had an Iron Talon, maybe he could have eaten that tree and hit that pocket. <laughs> that was a, that's a tough gank to dodge. Yeah, he kind of like pinned himself there up against the, the trees, unfortunately. Now the tower likely to drop his puppy. Taking point on this one, last hit will go to Arteezy, most likely, as the disruption comes through. They set up with another arrow, another connection on Handskin, and down he too goes, and the tower as well, so to get that blink dagger, get their level sixes on their supports and just get more items up and not die as much as oh swindles. Caught out again the disruption. It's gonna buy time for these TPs that are coming in though. Arrow will connect with the turn from Limp looking for a bit more with Z Freak joining the fray as well. Will they be able to get the follow-up? Boulder smash they do and then they latch onto Arteezy. They will bring him down. Chessy almost dying the Slark explodes in the midst of it the double starfall will end up dying to the Marana, but Z-Freak chasing forward again, has the boulder smash ready to go here in just a moment. Is going to try to focus the pile I die down. Chasing deep on the Shadow Demon. Puppy just kind of ignoring it, farming up the mid lane here. A long toss. Swindles in deep. He whips on the axes on the way in, but drags them back on the way out to secure the kill. <laughs> will end up costing them the Beastmaster as Limp sacrifices him to Secret. Uh a pretty safe Roche, though. No, they don't have Tidehunter there. This, is, this could be really bad for them. Puppy still uh, from relatively low HP, but Envy rather healthy. The backup is coming though now. Shadow Demon gonna be the first one in. Quick TP out. Envy, no, not gonna happen. Swindle slams the door on that, gets the roar off. The heal bomb comes through. Arrow though, hitting only the boar. They use the Moonlight Shadow to try and disengage, but Bulbas here. The front line tanker, he gets off a Ravage, connects on three. They're gonna bring down the Earth Spirit, looking for a bit more. Swindle's low, great grave there by Handskin to keep him alive, but is he able to turn the battle? Jesse also dropping low to impetus damage as he lays into Arteezy. They've only so far gotten the Enchantress kill. A two for one thus far, but with Ravage committed, they can look for a bit more. Bulba low, up and down, the watermelon will crack. Complexity hang on, they prevent the Roshan. And the Ravage is down now, Ben, so Secret might think twice about walking back in. Handle the Shadow Demon, he's gotta run away. So I think as a response, Secret should start hitting the T3, so the cores have to, are forced to go back. Although, Chessy moving on in here. It's gonna bring Pilot Eye very low, disruption cooling down. Has no TP, he does get the self disrupt off. Link Dagger's gonna be ready, is the timing right? Yes, sir. Chessy finding the solo kill. Meanwhile, they've also dragged Puppy in a bit too far. Secret feeding away two kills. Yeah. I think Complexity will happily take and use to hang on for now. They'll use the Moonlight Shadow to try and disengage, but Limp on the chase. Chessy there with the Pounce. He actually found him too. Do they have the Detection Z Freak coming in hot? Avalanche is there. And with the Chuck, they get the kill. Three Secret heroes down. Limp on the double. See, so they've done a better job of keeping the lanes pushed out. We are seeing them spread the map a little more. And I think Secret recognizing they're not choking out Complexity the way they were a couple moments ago. They do smoke, then move into a Moonlight Shadow and they get the Blink off. Initiation here onto Limp. He's going to be gusted, controlled. Z Freak looking to save him. Ain't going to happen. They will lose the Tiny and now perhaps more Handskin. Will he make it out? Does TP away and looks like he'll barely survive at the Self Grave. While this is going on, Slark pushing out the top lane. Tabs on the Secret try to back while they leave the Slark in the bottom lane to split push. So he does get a tier one, now the disruption. 
into the siege. We've seen a lot more of this lately, whether it's with the Lunas or the, the Medusas, Terror Blades, or in this case, the Drow Ranger. And a great gust. Envy able to lock down Limp right as he jumps in. And oh my god, that damage already almost down to critical HP. The Blake Ravage comes forth from Bulba, locking Limp down even through the Shallow Grave. They will get the kill, and now they look for more, but they've also managed to roll in and focus Envy in this fight. Still the Marana. Healthy for now, chucked up and down, will end up dying, so they lose that double Starfall that is a source of much damage for the team, but it doesn't seem to matter. They still find a secondary kill, bringing down the Tiny. It's Puppy cleaning up. Z Freak likely to be next. Rolls away, gets the Boulder Smash back to safety, and Slark. Tries to join the fray, makes it so far a two for two, but that was with a buyback and a dieback on the tiny. So effectively a two for three here. And Secret are still sieging. They've already taken a melee. They will grab the range now as well. Pretty clean siege from them. And then Chessy has the misfortune to walk right into a sentry, trying to make a play for the team. Ends up giving another kill. Both cores dying a collective total of three times in that battle. Ravage is now up. Try and stall for How 20 do you seconds. This fight? We're trying, you try and time to kill so that his uh, he dies when his Aegis is about to expire. They have like 15 seconds, I think. I think they're going to lose a Rax by then, Ben, if they do wait. But you can start the fight right now and just try and hold off. They may have no choice. Arteezy's the one to start it, though. They get eyes on Lift. They're going to focus him down. He will be grave from the high ground, but Swindles getting caught out here. Silence after the Ravage. The follow-up comes through. Z-Freak not dead yet, but very, very low. Has to turn tail. Has to run away. The disruption preventing a full retreat. Swindles will drop. The Rex, the rest likely to follow soon, along with the Rex, I should say. Hanskin almost gets pierced by those puppy impetuses, single-handedly mowing down complexity here. This is like shooting fish in a barrel at this point for El Capitan and Secret. Two lanes of Rex, already focusing tier four towers, skipping that bottom lane entirely. They feel the games in hand, and truth be told, I don't think there are many people at home who would disagree. That's a Pretty cool strategy by Secret. I think like they they wanted the armor on like the on the dazzle, but dazzle was actually like very useless this game. Like the the graves helped a little bit, but I like the super very damage types from Secret. I like how Puppy ended up getting a lot of farm while still doing a lot of damage early, and I think Limp performed particularly well on the tiny. He I think formed much better than I expected in the middle lane, and they showed some signs of life before they contested first Roche, but after that it was all downhill and. Secrets looking pretty. pretty.